I see the green. Do you oh. see how soft that color is? you see how ethereal it looks? Kind of like a sea green. Wow. And the light's moving. It will move. Going down to the bottom, not to the top. That's the weirdest. I love right. that. <laughs> I love that. It's going to as you move your yeah, as you move down, your right? eyes, it goes over here green, and then yeah. it goes over there green. Is that yeah. normal? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's fine. What I want you to just oh, notice is when you're looking at that, that is how it looks around someone when you're viewing their energy field. It's very soft, and there'll be some of the colors. This is the easiest one to see because this is red energy, and red energy or first ray or first chakra energy. What it is, it's it actually um, takes all the other colors and it sort of like brings shape and form. Red is an energy that's an interesting thing. All other colors will ride piggyback on a red on a red ray, okay? Because it actually gives manifestation form, all healing, and oh, they're just a really high vibration, which it is, okay? Don't get me wrong, it is. But what I had to really realize is white has the potential to be anything at any time because it encompasses all color. White light has all color. So I had this man come, and I took his orange shot, and it was a lot of fun. Really, he was probably, I don't know, he was probably in his late 50s, I think. White hair, very, uh, you know, prestigious looking type fellow. And he came and sat down and looked very smart, you know, and I went, wow, he's really put, put together well, so, so to speak. He came and sat down, and I did a shot. And when his aura came out, it was just the most beautiful, it was just really, really white. It was like really thick. And it had a nice blue um, band all the way up uh, around it, which really, usually on the outskirts of the aura, that usually has to do with the person's soul color. That's what you came in with, and that's who you truly are. But we are colored by our emotions and our health, and we'll see all these other colors within our auric field. So I went on to tell him, of course, and he was just quiet. He just let me run my mouth, <laughs> you know, step in a little further, you know, right? So I just told him, I said, oh, gosh, it's beautiful. You're healing and this and that and the other. And, and it is all that. It can mean that. When I got all done, he just grinned at me. He says, well, sweetheart, he says, I'm bipolar, schizophrenic, and manic depressive. And if I'd have had, I just kind of went like that. Okay, so... He says, uh, yeah. He says, so that's what I am, but thank you. And I said, oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> you know, I said, oh, sorry. <laughs> so I went home to, you know, and studied more and more and more about it. And then here again, so I was going to tell you is that white has the potential to be anything at any time. Thus, the different personality changes. Thus, going from here to there, just like this, changing and switching. And white is also like a supernova. When you think of a supernova, nova, what do you think of? Big explosion, a big you know star, you know. So anytime you have white in the aura, yeah, it can be healing, and it can be all the spirituality and everything too. But what it can also do for you is white has the has the potential to be anything at any time, and it also, in a set in a, in a sense, it strengthens all the colors that you have in there. It'll make it. Like, for instance, if you're going through a hard time and you end up with a lot of white in the aura, well, in a sense, it can really be a whirlwind. It can really come in and just, it just magnified it. They're so loving listening. They're great listeners. Okay. We see some of our nurses and stuff in that field, too. Anybody? Counselors? Okay. Um, healers. We have magnetic healers that work with that color. Vocal, or very vocal people. Or... I see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Sure. 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 Oh, six go. ray. Somebody else. Yeah, an indigo. I'm an indigo. Oh, really? Yeah. What is it's I, mean, I read the indigo book. Indigo ray. They're on. manifestors, or people that can manifest really, really well. Mm -hmm. um, they're very um, abstract thinkers. Mm -hmm. um, indigo is a 
they're very open with their third eye already. You know, they're born that way. Uh -huh. okay. You see that? I mean, um, yeah. Yes, I do. The only thing of it is, you just have to believe it. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. I see it. So it's beautiful, wasn't it? Ooh. Just very wrinkled. She's popping. Do y'all see it? Uh huh. It's hard not to chase it with your eyes. I know. But if you chase it, then you'll lose it. That's why I say just look at it, you know. You're really seeing it. Remember with the whites of your eyes. So that's why when you chase it, 